Hey, what is up guys? Today I've got a bunch of puzzles here, but in this video we're just going to be checking out the brand new X-Men Pyraminx Bell version 2. Uh, these other, the Monster Go Magnetic and the shang Magnetic Clock, we're going to be saving for another video. So let's check out this Pyraminx. It is the successor to the original version 1 Magnetic X-Men Bell Pyraminx. This is one of the first Magnetic Pyraminxes and it's an extremely popular one still to this day. So I'm excited to see after so many years what Mo Yu or sorry Chi has done to um, improve their great design. Cool. So it looks like it actually comes with this really cool looking screwdriver. The entire thing is made of plastic, even the bit, but it magnetically attaches to the handle. And we also get a few spare magnets with the pyramids. I shouldn't say spare magnets. These are more like additional magnets. If you want to increase the magnet strength, you can add them around the pyraminx. The first thing I noticed is that the edges of the centers of this new pyraminx are actually indented for some reason. Maybe to provide extra grip, I guess we'll find out, but got these cool looking grooves here. This actually might be the first pyraminx that doesn't sound extremely clicky when you turn it. Like this is the first one, you can hear how clicky it is. This is the recent uh, Chi MS pyraminx that just came out a not too long ago. It's very clicky as well. The turning feels pretty dry on this, but it's still smooth. So the big thing with the version 2 is that you can actually adjust the magnet strength of the, act the layers and also the magnet strength of the tips. But basically you've got this little um, piece that you can turn that will adjust the location of the magnet that's right here. So right now it's pointed towards the middle, which is just a dot. But if I move it to the left, that's it's now on the lighter setting. And now it's back in the middle. And then if I move it to the right, so it's facing the plus right here, this is the strongest magnet setting. So what turning this does is it depresses the magnet inside the centerpiece more. So I'd say the strongest magnet setting is pretty similar to the regular old X-Men version 1 magnet setting. Although when you compare the medium strength of the V2, it's about the same as what the Chi MS comes with. The uh, surface is, has a bit of a matte plastic finish compared to the version 1's uh, completely glossy finish. Um, the version 2 is actually very similar to the Chi MS, but what's not as clicky and the speed is pretty much about the same. This one's definitely quieter feeling and the smoothness is probably about the same too. You can tell the V2 hole is a bit larger, so the all the pieces are a bit are rounded a little bit more. I'll say, yeah, the fluidity and corner cutting of this cube and just the overall the way it turns does feel a little bit better than the Chi MS. There isn't a huge difference though. All right, so I've been playing with this Pyraminx for a little bit now, and I've got to say, it's a pretty good Pyraminx overall. At first, it wasn't very good on the medium magnet setting, so I changed those to the strongest setting for the layers. And then I added two magnets to every single one of the tips because without magnets, the tips were extremely weak. When I was comparing it to the X-Men V1, the tips would snap really easily. And with this one, I was just having a lot of trouble solving the tips. It, they were really annoying, so I just added two magnets. It's similar to the Chi MS now, actually, but I'd say it's still not that great. Honestly, I'm kind of regretting not putting all three magnets in. It's pretty decent now though, but it's just a very different feeling Pyraminx. I feel like I'd have to play around with this even more just to get used to it. Would I make this my main over the Moe Magnetic Pyraminx? Honestly, probably not yet. I'd have to play around with it and still decide, but they're both pretty good Pyraminxes. I'd say the Bella V2 is probably a little bit better than the Moe Pyraminx, but I'm just used to the Moe one and I like the feel of that one more, so I'll probably stick with that as my main for now. So if you're someone like me who doesn't really do Pyraminx that often, maybe you'll go to a competition and compete in it every once in a while, but you don't really ever practice it at home, I wouldn't really recommend that you go out of your way and get this. It's just as good as uh, the best Pyraminx is out there right now, if not better. But for me personally, since I don't do Pyraminx that often, it's not an amazing like miles ahead of the competition or anything like that. It's, it's just a little bit better, I'd say. So for that reason, I, if you already have a Moe Magnetic Pyraminx or, an, or the Bell version 1 and you really like those Pyraminxes, then just stick with those. This isn't like substantially better than those or anything. Anyway, you can check out the X-Men Bell version 2 Magnetic Pyraminx at speakyshop.com 
and if you use my code paradox you can get a discount at checkout and also help support my channel anyway that was it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one